Welcome back, I'm Kyle with Prolux Cleaners, and in today's video, I'm gonna be doing an unboxing, assembly, and an overview of the Prolux tray. So once you get the box open, you're gonna see some tools and attachments. So off the bat, you have the main wand, you have the hose with the suction relief valve right here, you got the turbo head, combination floor tool, your bags, your basic attachments, which will be the crevice, the duster, the upholstery, and the tool caddy for the wand. You'll have the instruction manual. If you need any help, refer to this. It's got a lot of good information in there. And then you have the main insert. It comes with your free maintenance tool. If you wanna know how to use this, a link to that video will be in the description. Common troubleshooting, um, care and maintenance, goes over how to assemble it. Um, some other good information, some discounts, some gift cards. Letter from the CEO. Um, so yeah, there's the main insert. And then you have the tray in itself. On the front of the canister, you're gonna have this suction dial. Um, goes from minimum all the way to maximum. If you have a tray in and you notice that the combination floor tool is sucking to your carpet really hard, you might wanna reduce the suction so it moves more freely or you can open up the suction relief valve on the hose. I'll show you guys that later. So yeah, you have the suction dial on the front. If you open the canister up, you have the bag chamber. If you guys are replacing the bags, make sure you don't throw this away. This holds the bag into the bag chamber. If you did on accident, get a hold of us. We'll get you taken care of, we'll get you a new one. But to replace the bag, it's pretty straightforward. Arrow means down into the bag holder. Push it all the way. Insert the legs into the slots. Like so. If you remove this, you can access the pre-motor filter. It kind of blends in with the video, but it's right here near the back. There's a spot for your thumb. Just push down and slide it up. This helps uh, reduce dirt and grime or debris getting to the motor and make your vacuum last longer. If you need a new one, get a hold of us. We'll get you taken care of. To put it back in, just slide it into the slots. There you go. Um, for the post motor filter or the HEPA filter, it's gonna be located on the back. It'll be labeled um, on the bottom. There's a spot for your fingers to get in there. Just get in, lift it up. There it is. Remove it. To replace it, get your new one. Put it back in. Put the cover back on. Pretty easy. On the top, you have the power button on the left, cord retract on the right. The main one that comes with the Triton is extendable. So whether you're a small or tall person, the wand can extend to a height that's comfortable for you. To do so, grab the wand, locate the black button, press it down, and pull up on the other side, and then push down and slide it back. On the bottom of the canister and on one of the sides, there are going to be these storage hooks on either your turbo nozzle or your combination floor tool. On the pivot, there's gonna be these plastic U's. All you have to do is slide that into the hook. It just keeps everything together so you don't have to have the hose, the wand, either floor tool leaning up against it or stored somewhere else. On the hose or turbo nozzle, there are going to be suction relief valves. Um, the suction relief valve lets more air in or less air out. So if you notice your tools or sticking to your rugs or your carpet and they barely move. You might want to open the valves to let more air out so the tools move more freely. Or you can reduce the suction on the canister. It's a suction dial. So now I wanna go over the tools and attachments. You get the turbo head, combination floor tool, duster, upholstery, and crevice. The turbo head can be used for carpet or rugs. The combination floor tool can be used for hard floor surfaces, carpets, or rugs. If you're gonna use it for hard floor surfaces, make sure you press the conveniently located button on the head down. 
so these bristles pop down. Yeah, the duster brush, this can be used on tables, um, countertops, or whatever else you see fit. Upholstery tool, um, couches, chairs, drapes, um, or on your carpets if it's just a smaller surface. And then you have the crevice tool, which has this little brush. Um, this can be used for in between cracks, your baseboards, or any corners of your walls. Now that we have everything unboxed, all the tools and attachments are out of the wrapping, we go ahead and assemble it. So I'm just gonna move some stuff out of the way and assemble it real quick. So where the hose connects, you're gonna see these two slots. If you grab your hose and on the hose end that plugs into here, you're gonna notice there's a tab on each side. You're gonna insert that into the hose in that port, push it in all the way, and then turn it clockwise so it locks. You're gonna grab your wand, the hose handle port is going to insert into the top of the wand where you can extend it with the button. And go ahead and grab your choice of attachment. We're going to use a turbo nozzle. Um, it, this bag can use this friction fit. So when you put it on, make sure you twist it on all the way. And then last, we're going to attach the tool caddy to the wand. Just push it on all the way. Light the tools on. And that's how you assemble a Triton. Like I said, pretty easy. If you do need extra help, like I said, the insert will have assembly instructions as well. On the canister, on the left side, there's gonna be this hook. You can go ahead and hook. the back of the turbo nozzle in there, it'll keep it locked in place. So the last thing I want to talk about is common troubleshooting. Um, earlier in the video, I showed you the insert, which has some pictures on what you can do at home. Um, if you notice your vacuum suction is poor, you can test the suction directly from the hose in that port. And if that's strong, connect the hose, test it from the hose, and then test it from the wand. If you notice suction is poor from either of those, you either have a clog, your bag is full or your filters are dirty. If your bag is full, simply replace it. If your filters are dirty, you can either use the maintenance tool to brush off some loose dirt or debris. You can use a can of air or an air compressor to blow them out. Or you can wash them. If you decide to wash them, make sure you let them dry completely before reinstalling them. That way water isn't sucked into the motor. If you notice the turbo nozzle or the combination floor tool suction is way too strong on your carpet or rugs, you can adjust the suction on the dial or you can open the relief valve on the hose or turbo nozzle. I'm not sure how long this video is going for, so I'm gonna end it right now. I'm gonna be doing a lot of these videos of unboxing assembly and just kind of talking about it for all our Prolux products. This video is gonna be for future customers, you can kind of expect what you get from us, or if you already have a product, this will kind of be a guideline for what to check or if you have any issues with it. If you have any questions or concerns, you can send us an email at service at proluxcleaners.com or sales at proluxcleaners.com. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.